After years of speculation and failed attempts, it looks like a new Ghostbusters film is finally underway and in development. It has been announced that Bridesmaids and the Heat director Paul Feig will direct a complete reboot of the Ghostbusters franchise. In an interview, Feig confirmed that the new film will be both a total reboot and completely female driven. He said the following, My favorite thing to do is work with funny women. I was like, what if it was an all female cast? If they were all women? Suddenly my mind kind of exploded. That would be really fun. And then I thought, well, what if we just make it new? It's not coming into a world that existed before. That's always hard if the world has gone through this big ghost attack. How do you do it again? Hmm. I wanted to come into our world where there's talk of ghosts, but they're not really credible. And so what would happen in our world if this happened today? John, what do you think of this newest Ghostbusters development? I have not been interested in a new Ghostbusters movie in any <clears throat> form or incarnation whatsoever. Till today, I, I, I gotta admit, if Paul Feig's name hits hits me right out of left field. Did really? not see that coming. Really, I, I honest. I always kind of thought somehow, some way, they would get a big enough dump truck full of money to dump on uh, Lord Miller's lawn and yeah. actually coax them to come and do it. And then I'd be interested. This is a really fascinating take on this. Number one, I do like that it is a total complete reboot. It is time to do that. This whole thing that Dan Aykroyd's been trying to pull Ugh. about. No, it's going to be, we're going to mentor them. And it's try sad. To, yeah, it's it, it sad. has gotten sad. Yeah. Ten years ago when we first talked yeah. about it, interesting. Yeah. But you're right, sad now. Yeah. Um, so going complete reboot, going in a different direction, yet still paying homage to the original, making an all-female cast, and then bringing the director of Bridesmaids in the Heat? Mm -hmm. You know what? I may not be jumping up and down in my chair about this, but now I'm interested. You, to quote uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, you have my attention. <laughs> so like, I'm, I'm listening now anyway. Alicia, what did you think and about I'm this? And unlike Jesse Eisenberg in Social Network, you have my full attention. <laughs> I think this is a really cool idea. You know I don't like remakes or reboots so much, but I accept this is Hollywood and this is what's going to happen. So I think it's smart to take it in a completely different direction and start fresh. Otherwise, you risk a lot of comparisons with the original. And Paul said, he loves origin stories, but he doesn't want to diminish anything from the original mm -hmm. or origin story, so that is a good way to do it. I think Paul Feig is fantastic with his funny women. I love the heat, I love bridesmaids, so I'm really looking forward to this. And I like that he said it's gonna be scarier and have new cool technology. I'm glad you brought that up, because he seems, from the comments I'm reading, it seems like he's gonna try to walk that very difficult <laughs> balance to get legitimately scary right. kind of horror film yeah. with legitimately side-slapping funny. So that's gonna be tough. Anyway, Jamie, what'd you make of all this? Uh, I'm gonna actually go the other way on this. Um, <laughs> I, I was like you, had no interest in another Ghostbusters. Um, Ghostbusters 3 with the actual cast that did interest me 15 years ago. Um, and so- With Bill Murray. With mm. Bill Murray. Yeah. And I, obviously you can't do it. You can't do that now, now that we've lost uh, Harold, Harold yeah, Ramis. Yeah. So um, the idea of rebooting it altogether, like I just, in, in Ghostbusters 2 wasn't even that great. Mm. Uh, Ghostbusters is obviously a classic and that I love. And so I was not to, not, I don't really care for a remake or reboot or anything else. And having Paul Fig involved, um, doesn't really change that opinion for me. Uh, I have to actually say The Heat is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, I liked uh, it. I, I hated it that movie. Okay. I it thought was Bridesmaids fun. was a good film. Not a great film, but a good film. And and so, in you know, we know what the cast is gonna be. It's gonna be Melissa McCarthy playing the Bill Murray part. It's gonna be Kristen Wiig playing the Dan Aykroyd part. Um, Maya. Maya Rudolph playing the the Igor Spigman part, you know. So uh, Igor Spigman. So uh, I, yeah, I'm just not interested, and um, and I have to actually say, an all female cast doesn't really excite me either. I'm kind of like, oh, oh, I mean, it's something. It, it's very gimmicky. It seems very gimmicky to me, I don't and know a little why. bit. So does Ghostbusters as a whole? No, I mean, as a whole, true, true. Of Ghostbusters yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I guess wine. maybe because we grew up with it, it's not so gimmicky. The idea of Ghostbusters. Yeah. Um, if but, it's an all male cast, it's not gimmicky. So I don't know why. It's gimmicky if it's like a female cast. Well, I mean, it, it would be gimmicky if it was an all African American cast or if it was all Asian cast. If or they went with just, any kind of yeah, yeah, See, yeah it seems like a gimmick to be doing it, and it seems a little desperate. And we know Sony is desperate for a franchise, and I just think leave Ghostbusters alone. Like the first Ghostbusters classic, the guys decided to do a second one. It wasn't as good. Great. 
leave it alone. Yeah, I mean, like, I wish I, they I don't would, think this is going to fix it. Leave it alone. Yeah, so, and look, here's the this thing. This doesn't make me. it any better. Paul, Paul Feig in an all female cast does not Feig, make it any better. To me, adding, being added as the director wouldn't get my attention. An all female cast wouldn't get my attention. But say, because I think it's important to point out too, they did say that we're not just replacing the roles. There's not going to be somebody yeah. playing the Bill Murray role. But they but are, and you know I they are. I don't think they will. I really don't yeah. think they are. But you take Paul Feig as the director and an all-female cast with the fact that I did like The Heat and I very much like Bridesmaids. Yeah. And it's a total reboot and a re-envisioning of the whole thing. It's not a remake, it's a reboot. You put all those things together and there's enough there for me to go, okay, you've taken me from complete disinterest to interest and let's see how it goes. I mean, look, I'll see it because I love Ghostbusters. Like, I'll see it and maybe it'll be great. And, and, and I hope it is. It. It's going to be Melissa McCarthy. That's a, that's <laughs> that's a done that's awesome. deal. I might just have a Kristen Wiig. I'm not even so sure it's going to be Kristen Wiig. But I, I think it'll probably end up being... And Maya will, Rudolph. Fingers crossed. I don't even think Maya Rudolph. I want to see Tina Fey and Amy Poehler together again. Yeah, I I, well, and those are the other two that I think. I mean, I mean, listen, there's a very short cool. list of who's going to be in this movie, and we just named all of them. Right. Uh, I'd love to say Lake Bell or Judy oh, Greer. Oh, Lake Bell, like Bell would be great. Lake Bell would be really and, cool. And, and uh, Rose, uh, Rose McGurn? No, 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 no. the girl Kaplan. from, she was in Bridesmaids. Rose Byrne. Oh, Byrne, yeah, Burn. yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, yeah. She's, she's, she's very funny. She's yeah. Yeah. Hey, everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.